Oh, God. I better relax, relax, relax. It's okay. I'm on it's TV. Right. Just... You're a nice man. You won't hurt me. No, no. No, no. <laughs> all right, let me just one sip. One sip. Certainly. Okay, thank you. Don't be afraid. It's just not... I, the sores went away. <laughs> he had such an interesting career because I think even though he had always intended to be a serious actor, of course, he became, early on, became famous for his comic skills, which were prodigious. I wish to teach you one word in Russian in case you ever go to Soviet Union. It's necessary to know. Rosby? Why am I under arrest? <laughs> and so when you're that indelible, when you've made that indelible a mark as a comedian, I would imagine the degree of difficulty of sort of segueing into more dramatic roles is that much greater. But he did. Good morning, Vietnam! You take care of yourselves. I won't forget you. But he was still, you know, even in those movies, I think he was just always really keenly aware of the audience's affection, and, and he was um, never one to kind of discard it. I want to thank my father up there, the man who, uh, when I said I wanted to be an actor, he said, wonderful, just have a backup profession like welding. <laughs> I think what we're losing is just the prospects of where he would have gone with that. I mean, I just think he was in later years, so much more willing to take risks with that comedic personality that he had built up and that the audience had come to expect. The legacy that Robin Williams leaves behind is singular. I don't think that we'll ever see his like again. But if there's love, dear, those are the ties that bind. We're so blessed that he did leave us with those multitudes, but we're grieving those that we'll never get to meet. <laughs> You never had a friend like me.